how to record on every single streaming device possible. Literally every single streaming device possible. Um, if you guys are brand new to the channel, make sure you guys do consider subscribing. Um, leave me a comment below. Let me know if you guys have ever played with any like anything like this. And if you guys do appreciate the content, please consider subscribing and smash the thumbs up <laughs> that one too. Okay. Uh, let's come here. I'm going to, I'm going to unplug everything. I've been playing with this thing for a while and this thing is just super nice. So this is, if you guys have not heard of anything like this cloner Alliance pro, I've had people ask me, like I have a Roku, I got a fire stick. I got an Nvidia shield. I got an Apple TV. I got a B link. I got this. I got that. I got freaking every single device under the sun. How do I record it? On something that I I that way I could watch it later. I don't want to get TV Mate. I don't want to get whatever dedicated app they have. I don't want to pay for something else. I just want something that I have that I can record. Now I know we were used to like DVR boxes. This is something extremely similar, and you could schedule stuff too. We're gonna to go through the whole thing, okay? Um, and even troubleshoot some stuff. So real quick, you do have your HDMI uh, micro HDMI to PC port right there which you do get that plug it in computer good to go um this is your storage you have to have this plugged into a storage or this box won't turn on you have to um in the back you have a button here power on off you got your hour your actual power button hdmi out and hdmi in you're like what why in the world we just saw fire cube do the same thing why well You'll see. Um, in the front, we got line in, line out, and microphone. Line in, line out, microphone. If you want to do some recordings, there you go. The first button here, H265 and H264, you could change whatever format you are recording on, which is great. Um, you do have a snapshot if you want to take a picture of your screen and you're like, I'm having issues, then you're sending it to support or whatever. You're emailing me with your issues. Um, record and stop. Now, you're probably saying, like, all these buttons on this thing, why in the world do I want to have, well, you know what? There's a remote. Um, here it is. At the top, record and stop. Display. We'll get through that in a minute. Here's your snapshot button. Up, down, left, right. Okay. Menu. Back. Play, pause button. Videos. Th these are recorded stuff. Recorded videos, recorded images, and then delete. Top here is for your microphone your volume up down and mute and then your actual volumes up down and mute okay let's plug it in i know some of you guys are like super stoked about this thing like how is this going to work so first thing i said is you have to have a uh, external some kind of external so there it is i have a terabyte rav power if you guys are wanting something like this in the description below i'll hook you guys up um here's a fire stick fire stick is going to go in Fire Stick is coming into this device. The out port is for my TV. It's going out to my TV, out to my capture card, and then power, obviously. Once you have that turned in, let's go ahead and come here to my capture device and turn it on. Now, this does light up green, and you'll see here on the side that it does turn green. Um, with the green thing here on the side, if it's green, I think it's H264. If it's blue, I think it's H265. Now, the first thing it says is checking format 264. Please scan QR code. That's the red signal that you're having. Right below me, there is a QR code. If you do scan it, it has troubleshooting tips and tricks, which is great. This issue, I'm going to show you guys how to fix this right now. So on this one, it says... This is the issue, 264, 265, right? So what we're going to do is the HDMI in. What you want to do is the troubleshooting to fix this is hold that button here um, 5 to 10 seconds. So I'm going to push it now. 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, 3, 1,000, 4, 1,000, 5, 1,000, 6, 1,000. Boom. Now we are on our fire stick. Um, we are on our fire stick. Okay. So let's go through the settings here real quick before we actually uh, go through it. Display. You uh, and, I'll, and I'll close off this uh, bottom camera here. Click display. It tells you here on the far right, your format, your bit rate, your mics, your HDMI, your scheduling, loop recording, all that stuff. It's all there. If you hit snapshot, 
this will take a picture of your screen. Up, down, left, right. Now, if you click on it, you're just like, well, it's not doing nothing. Well, you need to open up something. So we're going to open up the menu. Record settings. Here we go. Record settings. You got your formats. You got your bit rate. You got always display on, file size, trademark, and loop recording. So I'm going to hit the back button. You got scheduling settings. Right now I have it off, but if you had it on, you could actually set up multiple recordings for multiple dates. Pretty neat. You could do it scheduling mode every day or once. Nice. Back button. Uh, system settings. This is important. System time. Set your date. <laughs> Mine says 2020. January 1st, 2020. Set your date. Playback loop. Reset. It has all those options here. Uh, video playback. If anything existed, this is your videos. If you had uh, pictures, same thing. You can actually click it down here where it says video on the remote. On the bottom, there's a video tab. If you click on that, this will pop up. If you click on image, same thing. It'll pop up. Okay. Excited? I know you guys are super excited. So let's hit record. It says starting, recording, now. So let me just move my fire stick around. I'm going to hit YouTube and I'm going to come down. I hear the sound. I'm going to hit exit. Yes, I want to exit. I'm going to put this down and I'm going to stop recording. Now, if I do go to video, there is my recording. If I hit OK, here it is. I'm, let me put this down. That way, see, no voodoo hoodoo right here. This the, You recorded this and now it's showing you what's recorded. Now, I'm going to pick this up real quick. I could actually pause it there's the rewind the forward all that stuff that whatever you want to do i could hit play and there it goes now if i do hit the back button um it's going to come back here if i hit delete right below me it says confirm delete click over hit yes deleted done you could do this on any device plug it into the thing and away you go a lot of people have been asking me for doing this review for quite a while, and I haven't really played with anything that I liked. I love this one. I absolutely love this one. I'm not trying to manipulate my Roku, my Fire Stick, my... I'm not trying to add all kinds of extra stuff to that, to those devices to get it to work. I connect everything here to, let's call it a DVR. And that's it. I set my stuff. I set my schedule. I set whatever I need to do. Hands are up and I could enjoy it whenever I want. I don't have to worry about VOD. I don't have to worry about like trying to get it from somewhere else. Like if it's live, I could just record it and then watch it as soon as I'm ready. Um, it's pretty neat what you can do. Now, I believe if it is recording and you're trying to, um, it's a cloner. So if you are trying to watch something live and you're recording it and then you walk away, it's going to record it. If you come back and you're like, wait, I want to rewind it and see what I missed. Then once you start rewinding everything and you start doing whatever it's doing, then it's going to start. It's going to record that, too, obviously. So um, this is really meant for if you're just going to record it and leave it. It just is just it just does its thing. Um the easiest way for me to explain of how to use it is if you are like, hey, I want to be sure it's recording this type of show or this type of whatever. I know there's apps that will launch on certain times on certain channels, like, you know, if you got smarters and stuff like that, um, or if you are, you know, whatever it is that you're trying to do, this is what we'll be able to handle. It launches, the app opens up, it starts doing its thing, this thing starts recording itself, um, done. And then it's and then it's done. So let me know what you guys think. You could literally record on every device. And I keep saying that because you literally can. You guys take care, take care of each other, and I'll see you guys in the next one.